Today is a big day. That's right, it's the time of the year when school is finally winding down. And even the teachers are beginning to move around like three-toed slots. Later, man. Just 22 days left on the countdown until graduation, and the high school world is like a giant bear on the verge of a long hibernation. Luckily for us, this particular bear was sleepy enough that the students were able to petition for increased funds on this year's junior-senior prom <laughs> and get away with it. That's right, tonight we're gonna have a party like... Dude, you pumped up the party tonight? <laughs> yeah, man. Tonight we're gonna have a party like no other. It's pretty amazing to watch all the ways that students prepare for their pre-dance day. I mean, there are a lot of ways to handle the situation but the extremists are the most fun to watch. There's a few of them floating around here. You'll know them when you see them. Well, first of all, I look so there's Miss Priss. <sighs> then there's Mr. Smooth. Then there's Mr. Disinterested. And then of course, last there's Mr. No Hygiene. Obviously, there are a ton of different ways people can act on the big day of the dance. I just find those differences really interesting. You see, I'm kind of a people watcher. I watch people. Well, not in a weird, I stalk you on your MySpace kind of way, but I don't know. I just see that the decisions that people make are, are really interesting. I see, I hadn't really thought about this much until recently because I have this really weird health teacher, Mr. Zanzibar. Yeah, that's his real name. Anyway, as zany as he may be, he said something the other day that really got me thinking. He said, the decisions you make today can and will affect your future, as well as those around you. And you know, I think he really believes that message. Well, I see him in the parking lot every morning before school, and he's listening to the exact same song. I think the whole school knows the lyrics by now because it's so loud. No man is an island. No man stands alone. And you know, I, I think he's right on track. You see, even with all the really awesome stuff that's going to happen at the dance tonight, there are still decisions to be made that could make or break the evening. There's Aaron. Hey, Aaron. No, I told you I don't know what dress I'm wearing yet. I was gonna wear the blue one, but I told Sarah she could wear that one. Well, yeah, I thought about the pink one too, but it's gonna be way too short with the heels that I'm wearing. I guess we'll figure it out. Hey, what time are you coming over tonight? Okay, well, I'll see you then. Oh, hey, don't forget the uh, headband, okay? Okay, bye. That was my friend, Rachel. You know, sometimes she's my best friend. Well, most of the time. But lately, she's been really moody. <sighs> Guess that's what comes with fighting with your parents all the time. You know, her sister, Katie, well, she just found out she's pregnant. Yes. Oh, come on, I gave it to you. Whatever. Yeah, that's right. what I want. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> yeah. Nice yeah. workout. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Rachel? Yeah. Uh, if I tell you something, can you promise not to freak out? Katie, I don't freak out. Unless you're going to tell me that you're better at tennis than I am again, because that is so not true. This is serious. I'm, I'm late. Late? Late for what? I, I took a home test the other day. I'm pregnant. What? Katie, are you serious? With all the talks we get about saving sex for marriage, and how you, you've seen how hard it is for our cousin, are you kidding me? I know, it just, it was one, it was stupid and a one-time thing. Can you please help me tell mom and dad? 
You mean calm the storm? I need a sister. Please. Katie, I'll do all I can. After all, you are my sister. Thanks. I can't imagine how hard this is for Katie and Rachel. You know, Katie has been having to work extra hard just to keep up with all of her doctor's appointments along with school. And Rachel's been a great big sister. They're really close, but lately it's just been really hard. And they're doubles partners in tennis. And now, <sighs> Katie's lost a, lost a scholarship and her parents are really, really upset about it. And that's Bailey. I wonder what's going on. You know, I've, I heard there's a little bit of trouble going on at home. I'm gonna go check on her. I'll be right back. Hey, Bailey. Do you need something? Actually, um, I was just wondering if you had plans for tonight, because a bunch of girls are coming over to my house to get ready for the prom. And um, you should come. My mom's making really good cookies. It'd be totally worth it. Uh, thanks, I guess. But I think I can take care of myself. Okay, well, um, I totally understand if you have other plans, but maybe some other time? Yeah, sure, whatever. Cool. Okay. Well, I'll see you later then. Bye. Sorry about that. Still haven't decided what to do post-dance yet. Uh, maybe some cosmic bowling or, or maybe a drive-in movie. Yeah, that girl looks familiar. I feel like I've seen her somewhere before. Did you not hear what I said? What? Oh, I'm sorry. What were you saying? Nothing. I guess it's not important. Are you not through with that yet? How can it possibly take you this long to eat? You know, if we're actually going to make a movie with the guys, we got to get a move on. I'll take this whenever you're ready. No, these checks are separate. Yeah, she dates Ian from my math class. Yeah, Ian's had a less than fairy tale kind of life. We hung out some studying for geometry together. Stupid proofs. I don't understand how I'm supposed to figure out 17 different angles when I'm given one number. Anyway, uh, besides suffering through some geometry together, I got to know a little bit about Ian, bits and pieces of his life from hanging out together. And as Mr. Zanzibar said, the decisions you make today can and will affect your future as well as those around you. 